we are back at my local lake and today I'm joined by Matt Catches and the Stokey Carper. So, uh, I'll introduce you to them later on in the video, but for now, I need to get some stuff ready and I'm back using my camera. Matt has lent me a lens for now, uh, but I'm thinking just getting simple, easy hair rigs and let's see what you can work. Get a bit of sweet corn and maybe some CM1 pop-ups on the trick. So before this rain comes in, it's currently like three o'clock, so I've got about an hour to set up before it goes dark. Let's set up my rods and get some bait on them so we can get them out in the water. And, and I'll show you what I'm putting on my bait now. Right, so I have got my rig set up. So I've got a washed out pink CM1 pop up with a bit of sweet corn on the top, just with a simple hair rig. And then I've got a PVA bag with some Belkin shrimp uh, pellets in. And super simple, that's all I need. So this one, is going to go on the right side of the island over there which you can't see so this rod's going on the left of the island there so i'm going to cast it over now and see how close i can get it it's either going to be a really good cast or an absolutely falling cast <laughs> you're gonna blow it that's sort of where the fish do it that's not bad I'll take that, so let's get this rod set on the arm. And for the second rod, I've got a CM1 pop-up with a bit of corn and a PVA bag again. Yeah. I just realised something. I'm an absolute donut. What? I've got no putty on. And I've got pop-ups on. Okay, I forgot to put putty on my rod, so I need reel in my other rod. Hey, and hey, uh, <laughs> and uh, put some putty on both of my rods. Let me do that now. Right, so I've got some putty on and I'm just going to get it in just next to that tree. Second time casting it's rotting. Let's go again. I pulled it in a tiny bit. <laughs> Right, so that problem has been sorted. I've got a little uh, shot on and I'm going to get this one just out in the middle in front of me. So let's get this one out now. It's actually pretty deep there. Yeah. Right, so both the rods in now. I'm finally going to get my bivvy up and hopefully get one because this wind is very harsh. Right, so my bivvy is now fully set up and I've got a 50 mil lens on by the way, that's why it's really hard to film and the uh, and the lens is really far away. But yeah, everything's set up in my bivvy now and I'm going to set up my hands for a bit, get some food down because I'm starving and see what I can have. Right, so we've all cooked up some pot noodles. We've got Matt Katsu and the Stokey Carper, so we're all talking down on the pot noodles. The wind's starting to die down. Uh, but it's still very cold, so we've tucked up in Matt's bivvy. We're just having ears, and we'll all go back and distribute back to our own bivvies. So we'll keep you updated if anything happens. Hopefully, me catching a fish, we'll let you know. Right, so I've got a fish on. I just jumped out my bivvy to play it. This is my right hand rod, nice and close in. Oh. Is that a bream? It's a bream. All right, let's get this in the net. Not the greatest. Oh. Right, so the bream is here. It's not the biggest bream. So I'll get him unhooked and I'll get him straight back. There we go. He's off. Thanks for making me freezing cold again. See you later, Breen. Right, so it is the morning and I literally just opened my eyes, but I thought I'd do a quick update. And if you can hear, it is smashing it down and there was no bites, no fish last night, apart from the Breen I had. Uh, but Matt and Alfie, I just went to speak to them with my umbrella. Uh, they said the same thing. They had nothing either, so hopefully something else can come in the daytime. So I'll keep you posted. There's no time to waste. Lift the lid of success. Pot noodle cooked. 
Matt, what do you think of the in inspirational speech of the day? I didn't hear it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time to waste. Lift the lid of success. That's how you do it. That's how we do it. That's how you do it. And catch some fish. <laughs> Andy, Matt, tell us the lovely job that we're getting, that we're half to doing. There's a dead swan that I won't show, but it is there in the water. And we have been, we've texted Bailey to telling them that it is here. And he said, can we hook it and drag it out of the water? So that is what Matt's currently attempting to do. And I'm standing here in my slippers and I just stood in that puddle. <coughs> but yeah. Are you enjoying this job, Matt? No. Biggest, more, most action you've had all night. Oh, look, at, oh, that's grim. look at the bend on the rod. Most oh, out. oh, I lost it. it. Alfie got us in this, the Stokey Carper. Text the bailiff and ran off when he texts back. Oh. <clears throat> well, you caught a bit of grass, very good, Matt. We are taking the bird off to do his last flight. Please. Right, so Matt and Alfie have gone for a couple hours now. The rods have been absolutely silent. I did redo them, but I didn't show it on video. Uh, and yeah, I'm, th I'm probably going to start packing up soon. I don't really know what else to do. Uh, the weather's not been great, but it looked promising for a bite. Overcast, low air pressure. I thought surely we'd have a fish today. And my hay fever has gained nuts. That's why my eyes are red, by the way. Uh, but uh, low air pressure. I thought it would have done really well, but unfortunately, we've not had much. Uh, so, I keep you posting again, stop packing now, and do my rods last so they get in the water for as long as possible, and I'll let you know if anything else happens. Right, so we've came to the end of the session, and I'm just about to pack up, but as you can see, the conditions aren't very great, and it feels like a bit of rain's coming in, or it's just a mist. Uh, so... I'm going to pack up everything now, but this isn't the end of the video. I'll jump on to, I'll either go law fishing some point this week to add on to this video, or I'll just give you an update on my fish tank and everything that's going on with that. So I uh, will see you in a bit. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I do apologize for it being a short video, but it was really hard to film as my camera's broke. So I swapped between my phone and my camera, trying to get enough, enough shots for you to make a video out of it. And I have had two weeks off over the Christmas holidays, so I'm going to be back posting weekly now. If you've got any video suggestions that you'd like me to do, any more fish tank videos, if you want to see an update on my ponds, or my ponds got absolutely loads of string algae at the moment, so if you want to see me try to tackle that, which I've done many a times, but if you want me to drain it, do something with my pond, I can do that. Uh, or if you want me to get out on the bank, uh, I can do that, because uh, next week I am going to go on the bank, I haven't decided where yet, but I think I'm going to go Morton Fisheries. Because I haven't been there for probably about six months now. So a long time and I used to smash that lake. I've had some amazing car bounce of it. So I'm thinking of going there. So let me know in the comments down below. Make sure while you're down there, you go like and subscribe. And hit the bell notification button while you're down there. So thanks very much for watching this week's video. And I will catch you in the next one.